This is a Samsung 303C Chromebook. I want to put, put a flavour of Linux on it, uh, probably uh, XFCE based as Ubuntu. Uh, all I know so far is that I need one of these and that I need to put the device into developer mode. So I will slot in the SD there. And find out how to put it into developer mode. Um, it's something like escape, refresh, tap that. Um, the device you inserted does not contain Chrome OS, then is it Control D here? Control D. To turn OS verification off, press enter. Your system will reboot and local data will be cleared. Or if you want to chicken out, press escape. Well, I'm going to press enter. OS verification is off. Press space to re-enable. Well, no. There's probably a way to skip this, isn't there? I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Don't want to re-enable verification. Oh, here we go. So it's probably zapping everything. Your system is transitioning to developer mode. Local data has been cleared. Modifications you make to the system are not supported by Google, may cause hardware issues and may avoid warranty. To cancel, turn your computer off now. Well, I don't want to cancel, so I can see here it's starting in six, five, three, four, th 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 yeah, one, two, one. Preparing system for developer mode. This may take a while. Do not turn off your computer off. Do not turn your computer off until it's restarted. Okay, well, I've, got it, I've got it plugged into the mains, so it shouldn't uh, run out of power. Just need to wait then. Might go make a cup of coffee. Normally I find if I leave the room, everything fails. Um, but it does seem to be taking a while, doesn't it? I'm going to make a coffee. I'll be back later. See you in a bit. Well, the kettle's on. Um, okay, it's not joking. This may take a while. Okay.
I've got my coffee. I can see this is still going. So it's obviously not joking that this may take a while. But yeah, let's see how long it takes. I'll do something else while I'm waiting. look at how to um, install uh, I think Crouton would be my favorite uh, oh God Facebook um, install Crouton 303 C Uh, you can see there, there's quite a few bits and pieces there. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. What's going to happen there? Um, okay, uh, so step one, enable developer mode. That's exactly what I'm doing. Oh, it's obviously taking a while. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we've done this. Step two, install Crouton. Okay, so it looks like we could actually do this from, because we need to download Crouton from the top of this page. Blah, blah, blah. And it looks like it installs XFS, XFCE by default, or, or at least that's what it, what they're starting. So that's good. That's a nice light uh, desktop manager, which I think something like the 303C will need. And this, let, this lets you switch between Chrome OS and Ubuntu. Uh, so it's not a dual boot. It's uh, you know both are kind of running. Uh, okay, so basically, you know, this is part two. Well, this this is part one, and then we need to do this. Um, but as you can see, <clears throat> this this part one is taking a while. So, but you know, I'm patient. I'll wait for it. Computers always seem to take forever to do anything. I don't think it's useful anyway. And I'm going to leave this running in real time just to see how long it does actually take. And so when you, or when I've uploaded it to video, uh, uploaded the video to YouTube, you know it will be a real time. I'm not going to speed it up. Obviously, you can skip through the the, the scrubber in YouTube and um, get to the end and see how long it took. Um, because I think I'm going to do part two as a separate video. Um, because you know I'm obviously going to die of boredom at this point. You know, 
but I'm trying to recover something else in the background here, which is quite irritating as well. But I won't tell you about that because it's just more doom and gloom. You know, computers that don't quite do what you want them to do. Kind of reminds me of, you know, the days of Windows 95 and Windows 98 when you'd install a new OS and it would just take a whole afternoon. It really would take a whole afternoon. You'd either be swapping floppies or if you were fortunate enough, you know, you'd have a CD-ROM and it would be like a two-speed CD-ROM or something and still take all afternoon. Now things are faster. And yet, still, I'm just as impatient. In fact, because there's, we're now in the 21st century, I'm actually more impatient. Oh look, it's restarting. Okay, so again, I don't actually know how to skip this screen. Do we have to wait? Can I just press enter? Will that? No. See, I don't want to re-enable it, but it's a bit boring to wait for this every time it boots. Isn't it? But, well, I suppose the sleep mode is quite good on this. So. Right. No. So it does that funny thing, boots into Chrome. But this is now in developer mode. And it's sorry, so it has totally um, kind of factory defaulted everything, which is you know fair enough. It did say it would do that. So I'm going to join my 5 gigahertz network, if I can remember what the password is. Uh... Okay, so that's joined the Wi-Fi there. Blah, 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 yeah, I send usage statistics and crash reports, yeah, and God knows what else. Okay, that's always good to check for updates. Sign in. Okay, I will sign in, but I don't want everyone to know email address particularly Super, so more waiting. I guess it's syncing all my preferences and whatnot. Okay, seems to have. Uh... Yep, here we go. Sync, sync, sync. If you're quick enough you would have seen my email address there but you can always contact me via YouTube anyway so I don't know why I'm getting so precious about that okay so now it's basically in developer mode and not really doing much oh there we go okay so it's just about catch it still syncing my preferences I think okay so it's basically done I'm gonna stop this video now and upload to YouTube and then I will install Crouton as a separate video uh, but just to let you know it's like you will need 
an SD card, I think it's got to be at least, probably at least 8 gig old, but I mean, probably don't even sell those anymore, do they? So 16 or above. This, this is a 64. It might have an HFS Plus or a FAT32 partition in it, I'm not sure. Uh, but hopefully any tutorial will help me wipe that to whatever it needs to be. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now and upload part one, which is this video, just to show you how long it takes to switch a Samsung 303C Chromebook into developer mode, ready to install a fuller flavour of Linux.